Yes, that spherical panorama was created with my GoPro Hero camera. I'm Igor and I'm a very big fan of panoramic photography. And I even have some kind of almost professional equipment for this. But recently I realized that actually GoPro can be used for these purposes. Because it has very wide fisheye lens and all I need are five photographies at 72 uh, degree angle. Plus one upper so-called zenith image and one bottom so-called nadir image. And these 5 plus 2 images will cover the full sphere of the space. But for real precise work we need a panoramic head. Otherwise the images cannot be stitched together and we will have a lot of parallax errors. Let me explain you with this big uh, panoramic head. So it is very important that the rotation axis goes exactly through the center of the lens in both directions. You may ask, why I don't use this uh, big panoramic head? Well, it's too big and bulky, and there is another problem. Mounting screw on DSLR ca cameras are exactly in the same line with the lens. This is how these panoramic heads are designed. But with GoPro, that's not the case. The mounting screw is on 50 mm offset approximately from the center of the lens. I measure it by scanning this GoPro camera. So I decided to create one uh, panoramic head directly for the GoPro and even if you don't need this panoramic head this may be interesting because it has very interesting click stop mechanism where I'm using only standard elements like screw, spring from the ball pen or airsoft BB. So let's see the design. Let's see the 3D printed parts. This is the main holder and there is a hole for the screw. The lower part will go inside the arc Swiss clamp. There is a hole for the spring and the ball. Let's see that in the section analysis. So here will be the spring from the ball pen and uh, there will be a, an ace of BB which is exactly six millimeters. And on top of this goes the horizontal holder. You can see it in a cross section now. There is a 0.1 millimeter gap between them. And what is interesting here that we have five holes. These are five stops in the rotation. Then here goes the vertical holder. Since there are different uh, sizes of the mount on the GoPro, uh, this has to be adjustable a, a little bit. So it can move in this direction. It can be at, uh, attached together with the M5 screw. And then there is a hole for M8 screw and there are some channels here because there is a, a mount for the GoPro and there are some extensions here which goes into this channel so when I uh, rotate this uh, I can put exactly in uh, I can rotate this exactly 90 degrees if I want to create a zenith or nether image. If you saw my previous video when I was experimenting how strong is the GoPro mount it has to be printed on this surface because it can handle three times bigger weight and the last thing I created here, the M8 screw holder, so I can easier rotate this screw when it's uh, inside the panoramic head. Now I can export the STL files one by one and uh, import into Slicer. I will print these pieces separately, only I would like to show you the printing direction because everything can be printed without supports. Here you can see my settings. I raised the number of the parameters to 3 and I printed with the 30% infill and you can see uh, 21 meter of filament is required approximately 6 hours and it will cost less than $2. Music for my ears.
Now let's see all the pieces together. Here you can see a list of materials. I will start with first two pieces. First, I will insert a spring. This is spring for the ball pen. And uh, wear a safety goggles because it may be dangerous uh, if the BB flies slip from your hand. It can hit somebody or, or your eyes. Just push it in and uh, place the holder inside. Now inserting the M5 screw with the washer. On the other side again a washer and a screw. And this is the important part. So this has to be uh, tight but it must rotate it freely. So don't tie too much. And side uh, since it is not tight, uh, the uh, nut can uh, screw off, so that's why we need to secure it with the second nut, so-called contra nut. Hold on the lower part and uh, twist the upper part and then they will stay in the place. And now this is the vertical holder. For this we need only one nut, but with the uh, washers, of course. It can be tightened uh, completely, but only at the end after we place the GoPro, because we will need some settings here. This is the M8 nut. You can put some piece of glue uh, if, it, uh, if you want to prevent it to fall out. And this is the M5. If you don't want to go easily, you can use the screw, but only when the GoPro is inside. Now this M8 was a little bit longer than I should need. I think it is 30 mm length. I will cut it later, but I wanted to record this video. And here you can see the rotating uh, mechanism. So you can rotate in 90 degrees and it will lock in place. Let's place the GoPro inside. Make sure it is aligned correctly. And now, uh, we have to check that the center of the lens is in aligned with the rotated screw, rotating screw in the center. And then you can tie finally this uh, screw for the vertical holder. And just testing in, with the Arca Swiss clamp. This is how it looks like after, for the rotating stops every 72 degrees and this is how you can take the zenith image and this is position for another image but usually you will take this without a tripod but I will show that uh, later one more time it's feels so good. I think I will create some anti-stress toy <laughs> based on this mechanism. Now let's take a photos. It was very windy outside so I will replace the sound. Taking five photos around vertical axis. It would be good to have here 
fully manual settings but I couldn't find it on the GoPro and now I'm taking the Zenith image and another image without the tripod now we have our seven images and we have to stitch them together to get one big panoramic image there are a lot of panoramic stitching softwares out there it is very hard to recommend any paid software because we are talking about two dollar panoramic head uh, and I cannot recommend a few hundred dollar stitching software out, uh, but uh, good news is that a lot of uh, free softwares out there one I will mention like uh, Hugin it's open source software but there are a lot of online free tools I'll put some lists in the description of the, of the video because I can update that list if necessary but every stitching software will do the same so you have uh, it will find the common spots on two neighbor images that's why we need some overlap between images and precise panoramic head uh, sometimes it cannot recognize common points, then you have to do it yourself. Just uh, find the same spot on two images, click on one, click on second, and then software will know that that's on the same spot. Now I can see a bigger dis disadvantage of the GoPro camera, at least with my Hero uh, 6. I couldn't find the full manual uh, mode for the photography. Because when I'm taking pictures, uh, for example, in the direction of the sun or, or maybe in the shadows, they will have different uh, colors, different white balance. So it would be good to have the same settings for all these uh, seven photographies. Uh, I'm asking GoPro Hero 7 or 8 owners, is there any full manual mode for images? Most of the software can handle this, as you can see here, but it would be better if this could be already taken uh, by the camera fine now we have our actor little girl uh, image which has ratio 2 to 1 for example this one is 12,000 by 6,000 pixels that's represent the 360 by 180 degrees what can we do now with this image for example you can upload it to 360cities.net or you can upload it to the Facebook But don't forget you have to use some kind of EXIF fixer uh, so Facebook can recognize that it is panoramic image. Or you can upload to Street View, or you can some virtual tour, or upload to the website like I did, for example. And now it's your turn. It will be very really motivating to see that somebody 3D printed this panoramic head and created some spherical panorama so I would like to see some uh, links in the description in the comments of the video to your panoramic images okay thank you for watching and uh, happy printing ah, it feels so good